so now that we've completed our project, we can now export. So in order to export, we'll go to settings, export as 360 video file with spatial audio. We can also select just the spatial audio file, but we want a video. So we'll go ahead and select that. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to export using our GA5 format. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to export with FOA and I'll be showing you how to upload to YouTube and Facebook. For now, we'll be using GA5 as I stated and GA5 can be played back using our reference G player or any players that have our sole SDK integrated within them. So this session is at 16 bits, 44 one. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and choose. The output file name, we'll name it blue dress. The output destination, we'll choose our desktop. For video file for muxing, we'll choose the original high res video to mux with our spatial audio. And we're gonna be outputting to an MOV. So once that's been done, we'll exit out of the master. We'll make our selection and then we'll proceed to bounce using the Pro Tools bounce to disc feature. But before we use the Pro Tools bounce to disc feature, there's a very important step we have to take. We have to go to setup and make sure that our playback engine is the Pro Tools built-in output. You can work in whatever playback engine you want, but when you export, you must use the built-in output. So we'll go ahead and select that. So it's saying it needs to reopen my session. Sure, go ahead. Now, anything that you have selected here does not matter. We're merely using the bounce feature in Pro Tools, but the actual exporting is gonna be done through our own plugin. So you can select whatever settings you'd like here. They won't be relevant anyway. We'll go ahead and name this file delete. So you know to delete it and we'll put it on the desktop. Select OK, and we'll bounce. OK, should be complete. And here we have it, the blue dress MOV. And I'll show you how to get our G player going now. So in order to use our G player, you'll need a redemption code that you can get from our site. And you'll go to my account. You'll go to purchase licenses, even though we haven't purchased anything. We'll go to show details. We'll select get redemption code. And this will be the redemption code that you will be using. So I'll continue with playing your content on G player in a minute, but for now, I'm going to quickly explain our encoder. So our GWorks encoder is a simple encoder that basically lets you encode without using the DAW. This is for instances when the audio engineer may not have access to the original high resolution picture. The producers that do have the high resolution picture can then go ahead and take the spatial audio content provided by the audio engineer and mux it themselves. This only works for muxing GA5 format. So we'll choose the spatial audio file, wherever that may be. You'll choose where the 360 video file is located. The target player is only G Audio Soul integrated players. You'll choose the output video format and you'll choose the output destination and you'll select encode. Now, if you don't have FFmpeg installed in your computer, 
you'll get a message saying that you have to install FFmpeg and you can just go online, install FFmpeg and you're good to go. So now that that's covered, we'll proceed to playing back using G player. So now that you have the redemption code for G player, you can go into the Oculus store from your mobile device, whether it be the Note 5 or the Galaxy S7. If you don't have the Oculus app installed, then just connect your device to the Gear VR and the app installation will automatically start. After you sign into your account, click on the More tab on the lower right corner. Then you'll click on Redeem Code. You'll enter the redemption code you got from our website and you'll click on Install All Content. Once that process has been finalized, you'll click the library menu at the bottom and then you'll touch or click on the G player. Then you'll connect your device to a head mounted display and you will see the main navigation page. Now in order to play your files on a Gear VR device, you can utilize the following process. You'll first download the Android file transfer app from android.com forward slash file transfer. It's a completely free app once you connect your Gear VR mobile device to a computer, the app should appear. And once the app is installed, just drag and drop the video files that were exported using Works into your device's G Player folder. Once your content has been transferred to the G Player folder, you can find it in the G Player. And now your content is ready for playback. As you watch the video, you can hear the spatial 3D audio in action. If you click on the screen while you play, you can see the total play time and you can see the elapsed time. There's also a pause and navigation features. And that's it, you're all set for interactive 3D audio experiences.